Okay, what's up guys? So here's the unboxing for the uh, Sega Saturn USB controller by uh, Retrobit. Uh, as you can see on the box art, it's officially licensed by Sega. Uh, I don't know how much they had in the uh, actual manufacturing of this controller, so... Um, I'm a little bit skeptical about the uh, quality control that went in on their um, manufacturing plant. Um, according to the box, it's compatible with PC, Mac, Steam, and Switch. Oh, that's pretty cool. Can't wait to try that out. Um, on the back of the box, you got general information. The uh, face buttons, shoulder buttons. Um, the basic features, the controller. Original grade quality. Um, again, I'm still a little bit skeptical because I've bought Retrobit stuff in the past and I wasn't really happy with it. Um, this is always a good thing 10 foot cables, right? Okay, so let's open it up. Um, been a while since I've used the Sega Saturn controller. I've never owned one, uh, but I have played with them before. Um, so I don't have any immediate experience with them. Um, let's see, let's see what the manual says. Usually, you'll find a little bit um, of more information on the specs and everything. Our Eight button arcade pad. All of it was little more than a diversion so that we could bring this girl here. Frankly, it only makes me disappear. It has a um, input API swapping ability, so hold start and B for five seconds. This is actually a pretty good thing. It's a big plus in my book. Um, maybe you want to play an older uh, PC port or something that uh, was more comfortable on controller. This makes it compatible. X input just makes it compatible with uh, many modern games. The thing is, um, I'm curious to see how they handle the uh, back button since there's only a start button here, unless they have it hidden away somewhere. Okay, that's another language. The compatibility Super Retrocade. I'm gonna assume. This automatically makes it compatible with the uh, RetroPie, but we'll see. Uh, I'll follow up with a gameplay video. Uh, in that same gameplay video, I'll be doing um, the Turbo Controller uh, testing as well on Steam. Oh yeah, this 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 makes sense because um. If the X input reads this as an analog stick, oh, that feels nice. Then that's already um, a concern for me. Um, although some games use uh, the D-pad for uh, menu stuff instead of a uh, movement, uh, but most most uh, brawlers, um, you know, um, platformers uh, will be using this for main movement on the d-pad but if it's you know like I said if it's mapped to the analog stick we're gonna have big concerns um, okay let's take it out of its packaging there's no select button hidden anywhere around, anywhere around here so. um, there's already some wear on the controller. That's, I don't know. It's not a bit concerning. Um, holding the uh, controller with the cable hanging gives it like a heavy feel, but uh, the controller by itself does feel kind of light. Uh, the buttons aren't too squishy, they feel just right. Uh, the D-pad, uh, it's a floating D-pad, so for some people it might be good, for others it might not be too good. Um, I'm a bigger supporter of the uh, D-pad on the original PlayStation 1 controller, the SEPH1080. Um, but yeah, this, this looks okay. We'll see when we do the playtest video. 
Um, so we have the uh, Retrobit logo on the back, Sega, made in China, certifications and stuff. Um, you can't really judge this controller just by pressing the buttons here, you gotta play a game with them. So I'll follow up with a uh, gameplay video. Um, Alright, I'll catch you guys later.